Good evening, everyone. It's Gavin Syme here. And the prison abuse, as usual, is absolutely rampant in the United States of America. And we're going to talk a little bit about that tonight. We're going to talk about the law. We're going to talk about bow. And we're going to talk about our prisoners in, in general because... I got to tell you what, it's off the charts. Tony, howdy, everybody. You guys pop in there. Let's show some support. Dave's, good to see you in there. And all you guys, shout out to you first comers. Deus Gaming, uh, good citizen, gaming.com, all you guys. Uh, pop in there. Let's talk about some of our prisoners in Texas, our prisoners across the USA. And I want to tell you guys a little bit about the truth about contempt of court, because this is something you're hearing more and more and more about Probably you know someone that's been charged with contempt of court. Maybe you've been charged with contempt of court. I know I have. I know a lot of our friends in Texas uh, and uh, with, with James Freeman and those, those First Amendment auditors out there. So I know we have a lot of you guys in here that uh, are we have going out there is there's more and more people, James Freeman and Bao and, and a whole bunch of these guys. I wish I could rem remember and name all their names, but it would go on because they actually got a good... Uh, group of people kind of across Texas. It's not just in Texas. They do have a lot going on out there. They've been doing a lot of auditing of the police, putting the cameras on, going into public buildings, getting arrested. Recently, they set them up. The police in Leon Valley actually said, hey, come on down. We're going to have a press conference, right? Because these guys are the press. They came on down and they ambushed and arrested them. Now, most of those guys, some of them uh, facing charges, but most of them have released, but Bao, they keep jamming up. Okay, this guy named Bao. Now, they they release him, and then they find a reason to arrest him. They move they move court uh, times around. This, these are common tactics, and people don't grasp how serious this is. For example, say, oh, your, your court date is at 10. Then they'll have court at 9. This is what they did to Bao, and you get there at 10, and they say, oh, you didn't show up for court. You're getting arrested, right? And so there's zero consequence for blue ISIS when they do this. The government and people are saying, oh, go courts, go police. We've got to stop criminals. The police and the justice system and the courts are not stopping criminals in the USA. They are the number one criminals, the number one terrorist. They are blue ISIS. And on the numbers, they kill more than all other terrorist organizations combined. But let's talk about Bao. Well, now Bao's in jail, right? We've seen this with with. Uh, Bao, we've seen Josh Martinez, I've been arrested for it, and we see this more and more common. Do you guys know that there's people who have been in jail for years for contempt of court? Do you know that I get mocked because I said, no, I won't bow to this court anymore, I'm leaving because I'm going to continue to defend freedom on my terms, not yours, and I left as a, a refugee of the USA, and they say, oh, you're a coward for not bowing down, but you know what? They were trying to force me to unlock my phone. I just read an article this week about a person who got an arbitrary, either six months or indefinite in jail because they would not unlock their phone. Just arbitrary. And so I not only want to shout out for Bao, who's, who's still in jail on this bogus contempt of court car charge. I've dealt with this with my friend Josh Martinez, who they're still trying to jam up down in Nevada. And I want you guys to understand, I want to make sure people understand the concept, the legal concept of contempt of court. Now, you go into a courtroom, let's say. Contempt of court along with the bar, okay? The bar, the bar requirement. There's nothing wrong with having a private club, but the bar requirement, let's talk about that bar requirement. The bar requirement is what they have used to make sure the lawyers stay in line. Because if your lawyer truly defends you with tenacity and the court does not like it, the court can arrest him, throw him out, and he can be disbarred by the bar who is all right. They're all buddies, they're all drinking buddies. If the judges don't like you, you can be disbarred. You no longer have a job and you can no longer practice law. It's worth noting that in Mayco, there is no bar requirement. There didn't used to be in the USA. The concept of requiring a membership in a private and arbitrary organization without due process to work is completely unlawful. That's a topic for another day. This is how they control the lawyers. But there's another way, because how do they get those lawyers out of the courtroom in the first place? Or you, if you try and speak on your behalf and actually present your case to the jury. Or your friend, if he wants to speak on your behalf. How do they prevent that? Okay? There's a man named Omar. You may have heard about Omar. Free Omar down in, uh, in Nevada as well. This guy's been in jail 42 months without a trial. He's spent more time in jail than even the conviction would likely bring. 
And now that he's trying to speak out and get attention, they're locking him in solitary confinement, just like they're doing to Bao. They do the same to Jeff Winehouse. Jeff Winehouse, people get outraged. They start calling the governor because the police tried to murder him and he got charged for it. They put him in solitary. Same with Schaefer Cox, right? Schaefer Cox, the federal government set up. He got 30 years in prison. What's next, right? They try to speak out. People start being a voice for them and do everything they can to make themselves miserable in that jail, okay? And we have to start looking at this. Yes, like we are Bao. We are Jeff Winehouse. We are Schaefer Cox. Uh, we are Jerry DeLemus. We are Omar. We have to stop looking at it like, am I getting freedom? No, that's not the problem. That's the reason we've lost freedom. But I want to stay on point here tonight because we have a very important little bit of education. Because why is Bao in jail? Well, because he didn't play along. Because the court said, well, we don't want you to do this. And he said, no, I'm going to do that. I'm going to exercise my speech. I'm going to exercise my right to record. I'm going to exercise my right to film. I am going to use the internet. I am going to tell people what's going on. And so they said, well, you're in contempt. Arbitrary, I think it's 60 days they gave bow. I know my friend Josh in Nevada got an arbitrary 30 days for standing up to a judge and trying to exercise his rights. And yet these videos come out and people say, oh, what an idiot. You should have respected the judge. This is how truly ignorant and enslaved these so-called patriots and these people think that they have the qualifications to decide justice and to build a wall to lock us into our country and they don't even have the barest concept that of course you should contempt a judge who is contempting the people's court. There's a video, if you've never seen the video of me being arrested, uh, about the time I told the judge she was in contempt of our court, I got dragged out. If you search for videos of Gavin being arrested, you'll find that video. Many, many of you have seen it. But what about this contempt charge? The contempt charge I want to say right now, putting someone in jail for contempt is 100% illegal under the Constitution, under natural law, under God's law, whatever, whatever you prefer. It's absolutely illegal. I'm going to show you guys right now. I actually have the Bill of Rights. I want to enunciate this by saying the Constitution does not give us rights. You don't need a Constitution to have rights. Your rights are inherent. The Constitution was designed as a reminder, an alarm bell for our rights, as well as a law absolute and unmovable for the government. Okay? Let's look. Uh, you can pretty much go like Amendment 4 through 7 for a lot of due process stuff. Let's look at Amendment 6, though, because this is key. All right? In all criminal prosecutions, the accused shall enjoy a right to a speedy public trial by an impartial jury in the state and district where the crime shall have been committed, which district shall have been previously ascertained by law, and to be informed of the nature and cause of the accusation, and to be confronted with witnesses against him, to have compulsory process for obtaining witnesses in his favor, and to have the assistance of counsel for his defense. Let's go down to Amendment uh, here's 6, right? 7. Excessive bail, that would be eight, sorry. Excessive bail shall not be required, nor excessive fines, fines imposed, nor cruel and unusual punishments inflicted. Okay, let's talk about this in the context of contempt. What is contempt? Contempt would be disrespecting the court. In reality, the judges are the ones in contempt. The prosecutors are the ones in contempt. However, we have no law in the courts, and no lawyers can really not even defend us tenaciously, or they will lose their job. Okay, that doesn't excuse them for not defending us. I'm just saying that's the nature of where we're at. Contempt, the idea of it is to prevent a disruption in the court. So let's say you're on trial for punching Billy Bob, right? And Billy Bob's sister charges into the courtroom and starts screaming and saying how you tried to murder Billy Bob while you're trying to make your case and let people know that Billy Bob punched you first, okay? The sister comes in, and she's screaming. Now, the judge says, hey, knock it off. You're interrupting this trial. This person has a right to due process. And she keeps screaming and screaming, okay? The idea of contempt of court is simply that we can say, hey, Marshall, remove Jane from the courtroom until, she can, until the trial's over or until she can control herself because she's disrupting the process. That's the extent. That's it. Not a mas. That's all, guys. A judge has zero authority. And I want to point back to this Sixth Amendment. These judges now have come to the point where they're saying, you're going to jail because I don't like what you said or did with no trial. I'm charging you with a criminal charge, contempt of court. You are going to jail with no witnesses, no defense, no counsel, 
No jury, no trial, and no bail. Absolute 100% violation. These uh, Contempt of court, putting someone arbitrarily in jail for contempt of court is an act of war against human rights. Okay, It is an offense that merits the people resisting. Okay, people being put in jail for contempt of court, if we had real patriots and 3% and a nation really defending freedom, they would be there kicking in the doors of the prison and arresting everyone involved for kidnapping because that's what it is. It is a direct violation of due process. Even under current federal law, 18 U.S.C. 241 and 242, it is a violation of rights under color of law, which is actually a felony under federal law. But bear in mind, blue ISIS doesn't account to the law. Okay, so you not only have this, but then you go forward to these bogus charges and the way they hold people indefinitely, like Omar, right? He's been in jail for over three years, guys, with no trial. So number, number two, so the contempt is illegal. Then you have the fact that a speedy trial is 100% a requirement. Then you have the fact that bail in almost every case is a requirement and it must be reasonable bail. See, these are concepts of due process. These aren't the crazy ravings of Gavin Syme that I came up with. I'm simply reading you the actual law and what it's based on and the history of law and due process, guys. This is simply the law. This isn't Gavin. Contempt of court, putting someone in jail for contempt of court is 100% illegal. It's a crime and people have a right to resist it. But again, we're surrounded by psychotic blue ISIS thugs who will murder us if we try to defend our rights. So what do we do? Well, at some point we realize the country is over. I mean, the USA is a fascist nation. The wall has nothing to do with keeping the nice people down here in Mexico out. The wall is going to be to keep you in. And we don't have to get into the constitutional immigration discussion tonight and all this Bauer, Jeff Weinhouse, or, or Schaefer Cox, or any of these people, right? It doesn't matter. Judges do not have authority. If you go to John Locke, uh, one of the, the political philosophers on which the Constitution, the ideas for it were, were strongly influenced, he said, look, an authority ceases to be an authority when they step outside the boundaries of their authority, and at that point, they can be resisted as necessary. The people say, we're going to elect a judge to, to carry out due process. The judge has no more authority than what he's granted to carry out due process. Why? Because, number one, the Constitution says. That's the written codified law about it. But it's also important to understand that you, the people, do not have right to grant an authority that you as an individual do not have. If you were in a world where a crime was committed and there was no court system, the people there would have a right to gather, use probable cause, due process, and to give a man a jury of his peers for that crime so that he could make restitution. Your authority, if you were, say, if they, everyone got together and said, okay, I'm going to be judge and I'm going to work within the due process and we're going to follow that. We're going to give a jury, right? The judge is simply the person the people delegated. And so the moment these judges say, well, you can't have your evidence. You can't speak for yourself. You can't have the representation of your choice. You're going to jail arbitrarily. I'm going to give you a uh, uh, ridiculous bail. I'm going to put you in solitary confinement and give you cruel and unusual punishment. These are not things the authorities ever had the authority not only because of the Constitution, but because we, the people, never had the authority to grant anyone to treat our fellow man that way in the first place. Am I making sense? Am I coming across? I'm trying to, like, keep this basic. But this is law. This is law. This is the law that they won't teach you in law school because lawyers are not being taught law. They're being taught manipulation, lies, protocol, and politics. We're talking about law right here. Real law. Yes, constitutional law. Yes, natural law. Yes, human law. And I want you guys to understand that's why they're getting away with putting people like Bao and all these other people in jail because the people in the USA have become fascists. The nation has become a fascist nation. They cry freedom and wave flags, but in reality, they only want freedom for them. They want everyone else that they don't like to be locked in a cage. That is Fascism and a fascist state is what the USA is. That's why I'm in Mexico right now is because they have vastly more freedom, even though they're not perfect. But wherever you are, I know that each person can only go so far to defend these things because the people won't stand up. If the people in the USA would stand up 
and resist like, like the, the people and the activists and the militias down here in Mako, the government and the courts wouldn't get away with it because when they did things like this, there would be a thousand people at their doorstep kicking in the door, right? They wouldn't get away with it. The government does not fear the people in the USA anymore. And until the government fears the people, which may probably won't happen, the USA is gone. So the, the, the USA in, in the way we know it now is going away because there is no law, okay? These are things to think about as we root for our prisoners, as we try and support them. And just understand as you do all this, look guys, no one has to walk into a gas chamber, no one to get out. Don't be afraid of, of people calling you names because you won't submit to terrorists. Submitting to terrorists does not make you courageous. Living free and refusing to bow down to bullies and defending others does. Congress, like Donald Trump, like Obama, like all the patriots who are out there supporting their treason, their support of blue ISIS, their support of arbitrary imprisonment, arbitrary confiscation of goods. All of these people, the so-called patriots are out there rooting for most of the time are actually the number one human traffickers, the number one fillers of the for-profit prison, the number one tramplers. These people are waging war on human rights. They're waging war on you. And you need to understand that your police, your government, your Congress, your Senate, all the way down to your county commissioners and your city council and your sheriffs, they are waging war on you and your children. It's okay to resist it. Just and know that what you're getting into. Know that you may have to get out. Know that you don't want to end up in their concentration camps because then they really do whatever they want to you. All right? That's the law. That's the Constitution. Go check out those amendments if you want to actually have that ammunition. Contempt of court charges are completely lawless. They're not okay putting people in jail for them. A contempt of court charge, the maximum extent of it in any sort of lawful uh, situation. It shouldn't even be called contempt. It should just be called disrupting. And the maximum uh, force that should be able to be used is simply to remove that person from the courtroom so that the person that is in the courtroom, the people in the courtroom can get due process and not have that violated by someone disrupting it. But it, it ends at putting them outside the building and say, hey, you can come back in or you can't come back in today or you can come back in when, you be, when, when you're willing to you know, have some decorum. There, there's no jail for this, guys. That's a crime. And then it's time we started treating it as one. All right, guys, peace, love your neighbor, stand up. I know this kind of went long, but I hope we got some law thoughts going on here. Free the prisoners, free Bow, free Jeff Winehouse, free Schaefer Cox, free Jerry DeLumis, free the Hammonds. The list goes on and on. Free Leonard Peltier. I, I could go on all night, but you guys speak their names. Resist, stand. Peace.